on my microphone. So I'm glad to see that's working. Very sorry I'm late. I was stuck on another meeting. Uh, I know it's been a long time uh, since we last met. So I'm really sorry that it's been such a long time. Uh, I believe this has been two months, maybe. Uh, we did have another user group that just simply wasn't there. Uh, I had COVID. Uh, and then the previous one, I had to go to uh, another meeting for something that was kind of urgent work related. So it just simply was bad timing. I uh, really am going to try to put uh, more priority around being able to host these on a consistent basis. Uh, but in the event that I can't make them again, uh, they will continue. We'll just have another Linden step in. Okay, uh, so let's start off with some updates. So I'm going to read these off uh, with voice chat, and then I will type them out in the text chat uh, for people who are uh, not native English speakers. So, so some updates, uh, we fixed a couple bugs. Uh, there was a bug with data feeds that was preventing things from not working correctly. Uh, we fixed that actually a little while ago, but I wasn't certain if that was publicly well known, uh, but I just wanted to mention it. Uh, marketplace uh, UI changes are still underway, but we're pretty much in the final stages of it. Uh, we're basically reviewing it with, um, with other people in the company and then also looking at feedback online and uh, making changes based on resident feedback. A lot of the things that you see are just pieces of it right now. Uh, there's a lot that hasn't been released. But yeah, we're still looking at feedback, uh, still making final improvements. I still expect that to be out by the end of the year. Uh, some other things that I had mentioned that we're working on, but I wanted to give further updates. We're still working on bringing uh, multi-factor authentication or you know, uh, 2FA to web login. Um, originally, we were talking about making this specific to the marketplace, um, but it, it is going to be applied to all web login. Th this already exists in some places on web login, uh, but it was never consistently across all web logins. It uses the same exact system if you're familiar with the 2FA on the viewer. Same, same exact thing, it's just not going to be applied at web login. It is not mandatory, it's optional, it's opt-in. I will have more details on that when we get closer to deploying it. I don't feel confident it'll get done this year, but I do think it'll get done, I'm very certain it'll get done Q1 of next year, but I don't know the exact month. It's one of those things where it's like it's competing with another project for being worked on at the same time, but we have made some decent progress on it. Uh, okay, some other stuff we're working on. The the, re the responsive changes we're making to Marketplace, we've also taken a look at some of our other older web pages where we're planning on doing a refresh of kind of like the look and colors and um, branding and make making it so it'll work on smaller screens. But this isn't something where like we're making a huge overhaul. It's really more like just kind of like bringing older pages up to a, a bit more modern day. Uh, so like, for example, like the accounts page, this isn't necessarily like a, oh, these are all happening, that these are pages that we're looking at doing it to. So accounts, uh, dashboard, web login, so the sign-in page, the download page. So if you were to go, not the one that's a part of new account creation, but the download page where if you were to literally go to Second Life, Dot com, I believe it's slash download. We're looking at also making a refresh there. Uh, some other things we're looking at updating, web, the, the maps, so web maps, uh, we're looking at making it so it's more usable on smaller sizes. So if, if you, you shrink down the map page to a smaller piece, it, the, the destination guide on the left kind of blocks it, so it's really hard to use. We're looking at improving that. Uh, we're also looking at fixing a bug where the, I guess I would call it a thumbnail. Uh, if, if you're looking at a destination, there's a, there's a longstanding bug where it, it will just say 
Welcome to Second Life, and then it gives like a boilerplate sort of uh, same caption instead of actually like giving you information on what that destination is. So that that is something that we're planning on fixing. Okay. Let me uh, throw this in the chat. Okay, so I always fat finger the shift in the inner key. So we're fixing the data feeds. Once I'm done typing this out, I do have uh, a couple questions on some stuff that we're working on that I'd love some resident feedback on. Uh, and then once we get through those, I'm happy to take any questions and anything from the group. Okay, uh, a couple other things. Uh, these are things that we are planning on changing, but I just don't have a timeline of when, so I kind of left them towards the end. Uh, stars in people's stores or display names, uh, some people are using them to try to sort of trick customers into thinking that like their product is five stars. Uh, so they'll make their display name five stars or they'll make their store name five stars. This is something that we've already kind of like 
done some planning and work into how we would fix that. Uh, but I just don't simply know when that will happen. But it is something that we are going to address. I don't. I do not plan on leaving that in, so people can keep using star emojis as their name. Uh, another one is. Let's see here. Being able to gift, and, th and this is one I, I, I want people's thoughts on. Uh, it's the last, also the last update. Being able to gift zero Linden dollar items. So we don't allow you to give someone an item that's zero Linden dollars. The original, the original reasoning is, is, as far as I can tell from trying to like look back why that was decision was made, because it, it predates a lot of people, um, is to prevent people from trolling or grifting someone, uh, like spamming your inbox with a bunch of items. So we have um, some vectors to, you know, mitigate that risk that we feel confident we could allow zero Linden dollar gifting. Um, the reasoning is, is that a lot of people have given me feedback that they really want the ability to do that um, for reasons like even like trying to switch items between alts um, or just simply gifting someone a demo. So let me throw those in chat and then we can jump into my questions for you. And then when we're done with that, I can take questions from anyone else on anything. So let's see here. Oh, maybe my mic, my, sorry. I forgot how loud my, my keyboard is. Okay, uh, let's start with the zero Linden dollar gifting. Is anyone concerned that if I if I make that change and I start allowing zero Linden dollar gifting, that it would be something that is going to cause undue harm? Like, does that give people pause for concern? Like, does that give anxiety? Does that turn the anxiety up in the room, or do we feel like it's you know for the better? No, because I think we've grown up. The majority of the Second Life users grew up from that kind of behavior back in the olden days. So it's actually people want it more than don't want it. An option for the receiver. So uh, you can we make can just... an option if you're getting a gift that I'm allowing gifts that are zero limit dollars. Well, behind the capture is an interesting idea. I mean, an extra uh, an extra control would always be a good idea. I mean, we still get um, weird trolls and griever, griefers, and um, we can't really anticipate, you know, what they'll end up using and what they'll end up, you know, having their fun with. Um, so a few controls would be good. Um, I do kind of feel that 
maybe rolling it out at least initially for friends only, just kind of see how how that looks. Um, because if people and really do want it to be able to gift anyone versus just friends only. Friends only is such a wall though, it might as well not happen. Because I know from personal experience, customer service wise, when you've got a customer telling you that they can't get items, that they're unable to get items, sometimes using getting them to get a demo of something through Marketplace has been a workaround to see if they can get items. But if you can send it yourself, then that's even better. So if they're not your friend, they're your customer, you, you can't go adding every customer to your friends list to make that happen. So I think that um, opting in for it also means that you may not be aware that somebody has sent you something. So it, it's, it's, I think that um, you could opt out, sure, but um, it's much like all the friends that people that are running around right now that don't answer your IMs because they've got only IMs from friends and don't know that they're seriously trying to be contacted and then aren't even aware they had it on. It would it would be kind of that sort of an issue. Yeah, you're probably right. It would have to be opt out versus opt in. Um, but adding that control, I think, would be crucial. Um, I mean, if people really think it's useful, and you know, hearing like the reasons, it sounds like it is useful. Um, I would roll it out and deal with the consequences, um, you know, if things go wrong, um, to restrict it more afterwards. Those are really helpful to gift, Valentina, because they, um, you can, you can be looking at your own marketplace and then realize that you need to send your old account a whole lot of stuff for that account to try on later. They could have different bodies, etc. Um, it could also be that you could be working for somebody, say you're creating an avatar for somebody else, um, but of course you're not allowed to log them in. So being able to gift a whole range of, of demos um, to say, look, try these items on, I'll be there with you, but these are the ones I want you to try on. We can work out your look. Uh, there's many reasons that that's a p good potential for that. Uh, and it it's just a it's, you know, sometimes stores give gifts. The whole reason that people are charging 1L for their gifts is because they can't be gifted. So, so um, 0L would make that possible. I think that making it um, potentially a one-time deal, you have that announcement that says we've already purchased something. Maybe if somebody sent that demo to that account already, it would just pop up a message and say that person's already had that demo and maybe that's a way to stop it because a troll is less likely to try and find 100 items to send somebody individually. Yeah, I, I kind of thought in my head that uh, the most common reason someone may gift a zero Linden Island or zero Linden dollar item is because that item is a demo. So it doesn't seem like it would be good to restrict it to things that are non demos. No, <laughs> stop trying to restrict everything. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there have been so many times that I've wanted to send a friend um, a zero dollar item or, you know, I, I, or better, in that case, usually it would be multiple where copy and pasting a bunch of links is kind of really annoying and um, I don't know, it's just really interrupts the whole fun of, oh my god, I found all these cool things that I know this person will like and I'd like to send them these five items. And then you can't because they're zero dollars and then you have to cut and copy and paste five links. I would also think that with mobile coming in, um, being able to send zero L items from uh, marketplace directly to an account, making that easier that they're there when you log in would be a lot easier. 
um, and as said, you know, th there's so many times that this is this is a thing um, that people want. And again, I will really, really say that we've grown up. I mean, if people are still trolling in SL, it's a very, very small number of people, and they should not dictate how we run our SL. It is uh, worth pointing out that I believe right now, if you have someone on your banned list, um, they can't gift you items in Marketplace. That's kind of an annoying one. I've ended up on somebody's banned list for a very absurd reason. Um, and now I can't get the items, which is pretty sad because it's good items. And uh, even though I think they're not the greatest person um, due to, you know, their actions, I still would like to purchase those items and support that um, creativity. That's a good point. Noted. And again, the whole idea that people are charging 1L and then using it as a reasoning based on that they can't gift 0L items would then filter out those people that are maybe sharing an untruth. Again, helping new people, if there's a whole lot of items that that are zero L and you can actually send them the items and say here, here, here and actually teach them how marketplace works at the same time by where the received items go um, in their inventory. All of that's a learning curve and to do it without an expense is so much easier for the person helping or assisting the person. Um, I want to move on because I got a bunch of stuff I got to ask. Okay, so one of the or, questions I'm... Go ahead. I'm sorry, I was just going to say while we're in Marketplace though, there's an issue with the images and I just wanted to make sure that that got in in this meeting. You've broken all our images on our stores. Okay, I have heard about this. Uh, let me get some details. So what, speci what specifically is broken with images? I do know that, um, oh, a link, thank you. You're welcome. You're just stretching. Um, okay, so when you submit a picture to Marketplace, it says that it can be 512 by 512 or these other numbers. And for some reason, you're stretching images that are square underneath the main image. So it just looks frightful for everybody. Um, and I don't think that that's one fair, it's incorrect coding. And two, you've input this new system into the uh, viewer of the image option where people can add images to their objects and folders, etc. But that can only be done with square images. So the only images that we should be uploading into SL are square for that feature. So I'm not going to make two images, one for Marketplace, one for SL and square images are meant to work. So, um, Fair point. yeah. It wasn't like that a couple of weeks ago, so it's a new break. I do believe we have fixes in the work for these. I'm looking at our board actually right now. Can we um, talk about increasing the image size once it's clicked? Because right now they're rather small and it's hard to see details of the things that the uh, merchant is trying to get you to see. I think that's a fair request. I was actually a little surprised at the requirements um, when I first saw them. What, what resolution would people want to use? 
Well, you've made it that we should be using squares. <laughs> Are using squares is horrible. Well, it's not. <laughs> it's not horrible. We use squares. Well, they could automatically um, adjust the dimensions, and then yeah, I guess they would kind of could kind of look squished, or you know, show you um, a border. Or, um, as you're uploading the image, it should show a border of which part of the image is actually going to shown in these square dimensions, if that's how they want to um, restrict it to. You. So you can um, decide whether or not that's going to work out, or if you need to change your image dimensions. What is the image dimension right now set to when you click on an image? I believe it's 512, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I mean, I would, I would want to see 2048, to be honest. Anyone ever use the GIF feature? That that was something I actually did not know for a long time. Is that you could upload a GIF? It was so difficult to get it out of the, 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 the site that is a requirement. That I just gave up and just put a YouTube link. But it kind of like it's cancelled out, isn't it? By like having a YouTube link, it's more appropriate. How do people feel about um, enabling embedding of videos? Yes. That would be great. Yes, yeah. please. As long as they're short type, short form videos, I think, because they could always link to a larger video. We don't want storage issues later. You can put like a hyperlink to a YouTube video in like the description or something, but you can't embed it. Embedding would be great, and, and then um, embedding would imply that it is at the, that the source is from somewhere else. So I don't think the length um, should be a concern there. Well, I actually really, really want you to give us proper um, options for just that whole area. We've talked about this before. The fact that you can't bold, italic, um, indent, you know, we don't have any proper features for editing the descriptions in, in Marketplace. So once you put that in, embedding a YouTube video or whatever would also be possible or more pictures in, in your information would be possible. I just really don't understand why we don't have the most basic of tools there for um, writing up your descriptions. If you were to add uh, videos, where would you expect to see them on the page? Uh, where would you to put them? Would be like if you had something, something to say, and then uh, like a little video presentation. Wouldn't it be better to sort of be able to drag it in or to the place you would like it in your um, listing? Yeah, you could have it as part of your pictures, but being able to embed it. Um, would be good too. And then if it's embedded and you say you set a maximum of the size it could be, then possibly clicking it could take you to the YouTube page. Wherever you host it, of course, sorry. And that's why I assumed that that's why I said YouTube because I just default I might use Vimeo though I think is the other one Flickr allow videos or just pictures videos on Flickr as well and I think that Luke's adding video to Primfeed
Yeah, maybe a thumbnail just in the part where your pictures go. If you clicked that to see the video, maybe that would take you to um, another place rather than it being a link down the very bottom of your description as yeah, a current. Yeah, I'm worried about. Yeah, I mean, we, like, um... put it at the. Um... Most people, right, like you look at the top, right, when your eyes first go to it. So I'd, right. I'd tr I would like to pr allow it to be there because then more people would see it. If it could also um, automatically yeah. open in a different tab um, instead of changing the page, that would be a floater, a floater maybe. What other, Either way, um, um... Sorry to interrupt you. What other bugs do I need to be aware of? I did. I was aware of the picture bug, but I did not see this feedback post from Sassy. So this does help. Back to the stretching of the images. When you go to upload an image, maybe do it like I think it's Instagram that does it. You you click which size you want um, because you've made it for that size. So you would click a square if your photo is square or you would click a portrait um, if you're, it's the up, down, long one. I don't know the dimensions. <laughs> you, so you would click it and then your picture would be perfectly placed. So that gives the people that have square images like myself that option that they would be only seen as squares um, and so on. So you're doing it while you're uploading it. That'd be nice. Is it caught up on chat? Oh, sorry. For it. That's what I'm referring to. <laughs> sorry, I didn't know what to call it. I mean, if it just uploaded it at the ratio that the image is um, versus constricting it in any way, then that would reduce a lot of frustration for people just within, you know, the mm -hmm. size, the maximum like, size. Like, uh, square images hop back to square monitors. Not really like landscape now. Or even portrait for, um, for phones. The problem is, like I said, they've been implemented image into the viewer but it only takes squares so if you're not as a creator including square images with your product then you're you know providing a disservice custom or yourself from being able to add that image to your unpacking pro product um, so that people can see without unpacking it what the item is because that's the whole point of image but it's only square. You can only use a square. Um, that kind of opens up the question. It's like, why is it only square in the world? That's kind of um, sad, actually, for, you know, nowadays. So a question, I don't know. Do any other Lindens here know the answer to that? Why uh, images are square in the world? This is a brand new feature though, so they could have, you know, played around with that a little bit more, but they made it square. And it took me, it took me a, a bit to work that out, why it was being rejected. When you right click, not right click, when you hover over an item in your inventory, um, if the item has an image associated with it, 
So you can right click a folder, you can press image and then you can give that folder an image or you can right click an object and give that object an image, which means that for a content creator, when they've picked up the box off the floor that they've just packed, they can right click the box, select image, add an image to it so that when the customer gets that box, they can hover their mouse over it and they will see what the item is without unpacking it. They can also do that to the folder when it is unpacked and if you provide the image, they can do it to outfits, etc, etc, etc. So you've provided this completely fantastic thing, but it's locked in as squares. So all my vendor ads are squares. Everything I do is squares because the end result is that. Um, not just a thumb few, thumbnails, but the actual full image. Mm, okay. Sadly. So yeah, uh, if we can get that um, maybe as one of the items um, to look at and improve, that would be wonderful. Oh, Garfield knows why. Yay! Would it be a big effort to um, get those uh, image dimensions stored and, you know, have that improved? Awesome, Garfield. Post on the feature there, if that's clearer for some people that may not actually have experienced this wonderment yet. <laughs> That's new. Is it? Is it new? It's Sorry. not. It's like a year old now. It's fantastic, and yet it slipped right under the radar because of PBR hype and mirrors hype, and it's just fantastic. It does so much. It's, like you, just mm -hmm. it. It's everything, and it doesn't cost you to add a picture. You can add a picture from your hard drive, so you can make an outfit and and add it. It's just brilliant. I love it so hard. <laughs> Wow. I can see it. Absolutely no. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I, sorry, but yeah, let me just... <laughs> but it would be nice for organizing the inventory to be able to hover over and, like, see, like, you know, the image. Yeah, and, and designers aren't using it enough yet. Hopefully they will in turn, but again, because it's limited to square, some stores don't use square images for their vendor ads and stuff, so they oh, just don't right. bother with it. But you can actually set it up for the object. So, for instance, when if you buy my items, if you just hover on them in objects thing, you can see straight away what it is um, and then proceed to unpack it. Or even you can add it to the HUDs. So a HUD can actually have an image so you know what that HUD is for and what colours it's it's just great. Mm, I see. That's interesting, and I hope more people in the marketplace use that feature. It really is awesome. Because I like, like um, my inventory. I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. It's just hard to organize. I definitely need to organize at some point. <laughs> um, also. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, go, go. All right, so uh, I just did a time check, uh, so I want to keep us moving because I got a couple other things I want to ask. Uh, so I've had a couple requests for adding new categories. I believe the one for dinkies was talked about last time. It seemed like the sentiment was that people are okay with adding that as a category, but maybe not calling it dinkies. Uh, is that still the sentiment? Do people feel like it's a good idea to add the category? Um, uh -huh. And then what, what would they prefer, like, the, what would you like to call it? Small avatar sounds good. Maybe mini? I'm just trying to think. Or micro? They're, no, micro is completely different. That's smaller than dinky, um, which actually could be its own category also. So micro is a very, very, very tiny avatar. That is the tinies, tinies was a thing yeah, also yeah. back in the day, so people would mistake that for being outdated, potentially. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. 
tiny's might be a good word, but at the same time, I'm like lean more towards mini because you know, like in localization, you know, like I don't know if Second Life is localized, you know. I apologize. <laughs> but, like you know, in world, um, <laughs> in world, I like, like, can impressed. see smaller items that are intended for small avatars advertised mm -hmm. as for small avatars. So small yeah. avatars is already a term that's being used commonly oh, okay, in world. Okay. Or those types okay. of items. Oh, okay. I just what about we marketplace. <laughs> what if we do that horrible Z thing and we just call them smalls with a Z? <laughs> no. That just reminds me of that one um, doll line that made a baby spin off. <laughs> but that's off topic, I'm sorry. We don't think this should be a subcategory? Should be a, a top category? A lot of things that need to be uncategorized and recategorized on marketplace it's just you got, you should got, be able to hair, hair should not be difficult to find when it's one of the most popular items in sl and yet it's stacked so far in that i wouldn't even look in that category for hair you should be able to select um, um multiple categories so if multiple apply yeah, like that, to yeah. the item that you're trying to find then like you know you can actually get the work Oh, sorry for interrupting. Okay, what about photo backdrops? Any idea of adding a category for photo backdrops? Maybe. Or do we feel like that's probably too far? I think props and like a, a category. Like, you know, if you're like green screen, right? It's, it's a prop. But Wait, I feel like it's a yeah, prop. It's a prop. So props and poses, instead of just having animations, it should be in that same category because they're oh. they and in so props and poses would be the, the parent category, and then you go to animations or static poses, backdrops, props for those people that create items that are purely photographic reasons. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. I think anything that makes it easier, um, and it, whether that is going to be through tagging or through categories, because we also have to remember, it has to be something that's easy for the merchant to add as they're um, creating uh, that listing, because um, otherwise they're not going to end up using it. But anything that makes it easier for residents to actually find what they're looking for in that deluge of stuff that's on MP um, would be very much yes, appreciated. Some of the because like when appliers came about, people just wildly were adding to categories because they didn't know. And then suddenly you get unlisted because you're in the wrong category. Well, who knew that, you know, nail polish was seven deep in because you only looked three and gave up. So... When you mean backdrops, you mean like, <clears throat> like the the green screen boxes. Uh, just, just trying to understand. Sorry. No, no. It would be a facade, like a themed facade. So, for instance, where you're standing right now, in front of that doorway of a cabin with grass behind you, that would be more two dimensional looking. It would be three dimensional, but you would only get the doorway and the grass behind you. You wouldn't get the whole cabin. So you just put it behind you to take a photo to look like you're in a cabin. So oh. it's a big industry. So bloggers use them, photographers use them, etc. Oh, like you can also just cabin doorway. So, yeah, they're they're in like buildings and structures right now, but they're not really a building or a structure. Yeah, they should they shouldn't be. So photo tools, photo tools or pro poses and props should be a category, because That's that nice. world has just completely <laughs> exploded. I should yeah. That's a good idea. I think uh, as people are talking about uh, not having tagged um, categories and rather have um, tags or labels, I mean, in a sense, these are just terms of what we're calling it, right? Um, so definitely mm -hmm. being able to apply multiple, whatever the heck we're going to end up calling it, to an item is essential. And then also being able to select that in search um, at, you know, at the same time. I'd like to put it out there. When somebody 
on the other side, as in you guys, sits there and unlists an item because it's in the wrong category, how about saving everybody the problem and putting it in the right category instead of unlisting it, sending an email and it being wrong? Like you do four steps instead of one um, and potentially cost people money by it being unlisted because often they don't get the email in the first place. You're the only one that knows what category it should have been in if the person put it in the wrong category. And I don't want that to be misused by everybody just putting things in any category because they think somebody will fix it. I just think that sometimes it would be helpful to be that you're not even told where it's meant to go. True. Cool. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, I'm going to keep moving because we got 10 minutes left. Okay. Do you have a hard stop? I've got a meeting after this. Could we get back um, to the gifting options? Um, I'm kind of disappointed that we still haven't seen any kind of advancement towards uh, buy now uh, for gifting at the very least. Uh, ideally, a shopping cart for gifting, especially now that we're coming up to the shopping season for the holiday season. Mm -hmm. um, I did add it's add cart kind of gift. Add add gift to cart rather than it just being buy now or add to cart. They've added a third option, which is very good. Thank you. Yeah, but uh, add gift to cart still means that you have you can only send it if you're checking out your whole cart. And as we've discussed many times, a lot of us um, tend to store a bunch of items in cart. Um, you know, if you're working on a project and you throw a bunch of things into the cart as you're browsing marketplace and then go back later as you have time to actually sort through which ones you're going to get. But in the meantime, your cart is populated with stuff and you can't gift anyone unless you go in and then empty your cart, like basically open each item in a tab so you still have it, empty your <laughs> cart, cart. Add the gift. Add the gift. cart is populated with stuff. And you can't gift anyone unless you go in and then empty your card like basically open each item in the tab so you still have it. Empty your card. Add the gift. Can we just get rid of better, please? Well, that should be an instant ban right there, versus just... For now, I would say if everybody just um, blocks better, I guess, until you figure out how to get rid of them. Um, I guess maybe that's a, a good thing for all Lindens to be aware of, to, how to uh, manage those garden walks. So meanwhile, yeah, I'd really like to keep pushing on um, these gifting items because we you know, we really, really need that. And uh, we were promised it and it supposedly was a low hanging fruit and um, very, very disappointed that we're not seeing that yet. Um, so um, please, um, shopping season is coming up. Um, Black Friday is coming up. Let's get that um, done before then, please. 
think if you can't actually add a, a, an, a button, at least just change the wording on the buy now to actually say buy for self now or something that actually says, because that has always been the customer service issue, people buying themselves by accident. The post on that too. Um, I apologize. I think I'm seeing a bug with like the textures in this person. I'm using Firestorm. And it's switching like the textures on certain people and stuff. I am on a Intel Arc GPU, well on a laptop. So that could be why, but mm, depends. What? I apologize. His texture, his texture glitching. Uh, the so, newest version, I believe. I need to zoom in. I mean, I guess it's a weird bug. I don't know. Should I report it? Or has someone else reported it? Absolutely, and include images so that you are showing them what's actually happening. I got you, got you. Oh, thank you, thank you, Quinn. Sorry. Appear apparently at the back end they can see if there's, um, you know, if it's already been reported. So they'll see it, um, you know, tagged as um, a kind of a duplicate. So don't worry about um, maybe there being already one in the system. You can always search and see if you can find one and add to it and or link to it. But if you don't find anything, definitely open the ticket. I did want to um, point out that you recently had a bug that you've since fixed, but I think that it's something that you need to keep an eye on making sure never happens again. Um, you had a bug last week with Marketplace that if you had adult selected in world as an option, you were seeing adult images on Marketplace, which has never been the case before. You could check to make sure that you only showed moderate, which meant that anybody opening up Marketplace in the workplace or in front of children thinking that they were safe suddenly had adult images everywhere, um, adult content images everywhere and you had to actually log into world change your category in world for marketplace to fix that um, it's been fixed but i would never run out anything going forward without making sure that that's still working because that's really bad it's okay it's my first meeting too just joining in Um, I'm just trying to think, like, trying to miss the subject, oh, sorry. Because I know we have less time, right? Because I know, like, uh, this is an excellent in the same we had less than 10 minutes, right? Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, let me. I'm gonna reschedule, and we can have a makeup since we lost the fast last ten minutes. Yeah. I'll be a little bit more prepared for that in the next time. I just I've never had a uh, a negative experience with the resident before. This is the first time. Mm -hmm. Never had to actually use the god tools before. It's really oh, weird that that's not part of your training. Yes. It's kind of really weird that this happened right after earlier talking about griefers and, um, you know, residents supposedly growing up, which I it's don't ironic. totally agree with. Um, yeah, that yeah. makes me wonder, hey, anyone here no who deployed no. them? Come on We're now, streaming. Guys. We're streaming live. No. That's all to it. 
Yeah. I uh, yeah, think... so I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a time to run a makeup session. Um, I'm looking at the calendar now. I'm, I'm actually going to be at Linden HQ in San Francisco next week, so I won't be able to do it then. Oh, I'll just uh, drive by and um, bug you there about the gifting. <laughs> Feel free, yeah. I know how to find you now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just joking. I'm literally joking, but you are know. You, um, are you around tomorrow at 1 p.m. roughly? You could tag us onto the back end of the content creator user group yeah, meeting like I've requested in the past. Yes, I can do that time. So literally, this would be the same time as we held it today. We'll do it tomorrow after the content creator group as a makeup. I can't promise that Strawberry will be here to stream it, but I can promise that I'll be here. Would we be here or just you would come to the oh. content creator user group? Because that would be really awesome. Because um, Garfield attends that. And then you can talk to Vera about that and Dave P, but but Garfield comes to that quite often and, you know, things pop up and it would be kind of awesome to be all in the one location and show that solidarity between content creators and web user. Because most of us go to that. Oh, many of us go to that. Okay. Uh, so I'm planning on... I will go to the content creator user group, but I do have another meeting I may have to go to halfway through that meeting. So I would be there for the first half. And then I'm planning on uh, coming back to this location and rehosting the web user group uh, since we got disrupted tomorrow okay. at the same time. Okay, so Garfield can round up everybody that wants to go from that meeting to this meeting after that meeting. Yep. I have we to can drive to the bus. Meeting. <laughs> okay. Really? Sounds good. Yay! Take care. You Thank say, you. Sorry about the griefing. Say same time at uh, 2 p.m. then? Same time. Same exact time as okay. this meeting. Same Perfect. exact yeah. place. It'll just be tomorrow. Uh, yeah, because the content I'm user one is at 1 p.m. The content is at 1 p.m. So after that meeting, we'll jump over here. I just... I, I just sort of hate the idea of moving in case that one runs over. That's why I kind of liked them to be merged, but we'll see what happens. I do want to ask, like, off topic, but regarding, you know, like, like the meetings, though, you know, just, uh, when can I get notified? Oh, okay, fair enough. Calendar. No, 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 hold on. We can answer you. <laughs> we, it doesn't need to be a link, then we can answer you. There's a calendar. Thank you, Syntax. You can open up the oh. calendar in Google, and then you can see all the meetings that happen. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, one second. There's a link. There you go. Strawberry just posted it in chat. Oh, thank so you so much, Strawberry. Use that, and you can see when all the meetings are, and and schedule your week that way, like we do. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to remember because I know, like, I know tomorrow I have like NRL stuff, like you know, part-time job. But I should be um, out like five thirty, I guess EST. So well, I'm in Eastern time zone. So, yeah. Work out which ones you can attend, and the web user group is only usually once a month, so you won't see another one. You might not even see another one this year after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, you get the whole month schedule, so you can act accordingly. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is also my first meeting attending. It's been on this off since like 2015, I think. Let me make sure, though. But yeah. Well, Nanny, yeah, they're not usually this. They're not usually this late in the day. They used to be yeah. earlier. I'm not sure if it's a time zone change thing, like um, daylight savings. But I usually have to be up much earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. Um, it's like 6 p.m. where I am, or yeah, 6:02 p.m. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, I did want to ask about like VR, I guess, but I guess a future feature, I did suggest like in the, um, feedback, but yeah, that's just like something in, probably in the far future, you know? Philip brought that up in, um, his last, his town hall, he was saying that VR is, is, is definitely something they'd love to do, but it's not something that they can possibly do, um, for, With for, if at all. The, engine? the 
Yeah, yeah. It's just saying. Uh, yeah. I understand. I do like the concept. Of there's like a link VR somewhere. Stuff. Yeah, there's okay. a town hall meeting. The uh, uh, sorry, there's the town hall meeting that Philip did last week. Mm -hmm. There's a link. I mean, there's a video of that. So maybe you want to give that a watch. Um, it should be also where Strawberry is streaming at the moment. Uh, the Second Life thing, right? Second Life YouTube. Yeah, yeah, you'll find it yeah. there. That's how I found this uh, meeting, so... It's a pop in just, you know, kind of suggest things, you know. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I love the idea, concept of virtual reality, but... I do agree that Second Life has some... You know, limits, but maybe have some, like... I would love to have, like, be able, to be able to capture my face, like, facial movements. They did have puppetry on the schedule at one point, but that got shelved. I'm not it's really sure why, but that was another thing they talk about in the town hall as to why that got shelved. So, yeah, definitely okay. give that a watch. Uh, thank you so much. I'll definitely watch it, but, you know, it would be nice, like, like even if we don't have VR, I would love to, like, you know, be able to, like, I guess have it track my face and like have the facials. I know that was in the past, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's specifically what he was talking about, you know, just the interaction with avatars and not seeing facial expressions and, you know, just like bodily make expressions. Them, you know. Make them more so lively. You watch but, that. Yeah. That's going to be um, really fun for you to listen to, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll definitely, I'll definitely look at this. Oh, let's see. Um, no time. Oh yeah. Um, another thing I just uh I noticed about the thing about AI. I guess since we're just I'm just talking off topic, but AI, but you know, Second Life. I definitely am kind of against AI, like AI art. But there are some softwares, you know, like um. I guess Vocaloid and well, I'm just saying for example, like there's these voices like that are ethical. But, like, people get confused with, like, I guess it's kind of an off-topic thing, but, yeah. A bit of a no, you're allowed to talk. <laughs> By the way, you're allowed to talk whatever you like after the meetings, because we're all just hanging around to listen to you talk. The meeting's oh. over. <laughs> thank God, thank God. I just wanted to make sure. I was, like, muting no. and, like, unmuting. It's okay. But, yeah, um, about the AI art, I definitely don't like the unethical use about AI and stuff. But, yeah... But like you know, like Vocaloid, for example, and like uh, I'm in, I'm into like that fandom or community, you know, like because it's voice synthesizers and stuff. There's many different ones, but That's what the I mean, like, AI. Like, when people say they don't want AI, it's too hard to say you don't want AI because AI. I definitely, I definitely don't want AI art. Banner. Yeah. But like well, ethical, like there's people that are making like you know paying voice providers to voice, let's just say, a character. Yeah, it's, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, definitely the image. But, like, you know, voices, I mean, like, for, like, videos and stuff, I guess, for Second Life. It depends, Ta though. Sorry, just one, one second. Um, Valentina, are you talking about when people use AI images to represent their product in a way that when you put it on is not correct? Yeah, definitely. Like, they're oh, sorry. Stuff. Go ahead. But, again, because broad subject uh, topic as Moo said it's really hard to know like when you say AI on marketplace that could be somebody selling art but but you mean that their hair and their face is AI and the dress is second life or something right or like a VTuber I guess but not really you know like I know like some VTubers use like I guess mm, voice changers but depends on the type of voice changer like you know, it's kind I of do. like a complex subject, I guess. Well, we have a we have a bot at the Welcome Hub currently that is AI, and she's there to help new residents oh. if they have a question without be one of us, of course. And she's well, quite knowledgeable. I quiz. I think we're the the light curve, the AI is not ready to be on this side. All I'm over. sorry. Back to normal. I think we're at the other end. we're at the other side of like the AI curve right now. Like the hype, you know, everything was going to be on the blockchain last year, wasn't it? What was it the year before? Everything was going to be cryptocurrency the year before. Like, 
I I definitely don't want cryptocurrency. Like that's I somebody disagree as well. Yeah, so like like AI art for a start, it's like it's not AI art, is it? It's more like something akin to like clip art for them. And like people who would use clip art for like for spreadsheets or like for presentations will use AI. Um, yeah, it's it, it just any problem the artists. I think like it's I think like we're at the other side of it because it just isn't creative. If you look at it, if you look at it as a as a whole, it's just like it all looks the same because it's all it's all running on the same training model. So so like you can't really just like when you make something and draw something, it comes out of your head, doesn't it? Through your hand, you don't like describe it. Yeah, I guess, but I just I don't like when people like you know use. Like you know, generative or I don't know it's a word. Yeah, it got to Maybe I don't know. But yeah, it's just um, I was just talking about like you know, I guess something kind of like a like off slightly regarding the ad, but not really. <laughs> you know, because I you know I've seen people like use voice changers and stuff, and so I'm like starting to incorporate AI into them. There's only very few that are, like ethical, like you know. But yeah, it's just like there's a few of them, but like you know, they're like proxy at the purchase, because you know. That takes like, I mean, that takes loads of processing power, doesn't it? Like that's the that's the thing about AI. It takes it takes absolutely loads of processing power, so it's like it's not cost effective, is it? For, for mm, people yeah. to, to, to to run AI as a as a right. unless it's like unless there's somebody throwing millions of dollars at it. 